Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to talk to you about how you can undo a git pull when conflicts arise. So as you can see, I've got my GitHub repository here. I've got my local instance of that GitHub repository on my file system, and there are some conflicts here. Yeah, you can see that some of the files are out of sync, specifically this Carol file. It has been edited on the server. It has been edited locally, and if I do a git pull origin operation, you can see that it says, hey, there are conflicts here. Specifically, there's a conflict with this carol file. And if I go in, I see this messy stuff here where it says, oh, um, you know, you've got one file says this, the other file says that, I gotta clean this up, I gotta commit it. And you know what, I don't have time for that, so I just wanna unwind this whole thing. So how do you do it? Well, there's a couple of ways. The first way is to say git reset hard and take it back to where you are on the head. And right now, um, that takes me back to where I was before I did that git pull operation. If you don't believe me, I can go and edit that carol file and you'll see I don't have any of that conflicting stuff in there. So life is good. I'm now back to where I was. I undid that pull. Now there's another way to do it. You can do uh, a git merge abort. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to do a git pull origin here. And I almost kind of like doing the git merge abort better. Um, so over here, I'm going to open up this file again. You can see, yep, yeah, we've got the references to the conflicts that need to be resolved. So over here, I'm going to say, no, I don't have time for that. So I'm going to say git merge abort. And now if I come over here, take a look at that carol file, edit with notepad, you notice all of the git merge references are gone. We are back to where we were before. We can even do a git ref log if you don't believe me. And everything is back to normal. <laughs> Long history there. Um, but yeah, you can actually see the whole thing right up here, both times. Even with the reset and with the merge abort, you see all that it does is just resets the uh, pointer to the commit that happened before we actually tried that pull that didn't work. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. we got lots of other great information on enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter, CameronMCNZ. And if you appreciate these quick and to-the-point tutorials on topics like Git, well, do me a favor. Subscribe on the YouTube.